Hi Missoula, I'm Kirsten Paisley with the City of Missoula Public Art Committee and today I am walking around town to take a look at our four new traffic signal boxes for 2020. We had a lot of really amazing submissions this year and I can't wait to take a look at the final product from our four selected artists. Let's take a look. So first we are at Stevens and Beckwith. Uh, this beautiful piece is called Pollinator Haven by Anne Carp. Hi Anne. So can you tell us a little bit about your piece? Well, I, um, I love flowers and plants and bees and uh, I was inspired by bee hotels, which we have one of these on the side here, um, and the importance of pollinators um, to our ecosystem and to the health of all life on Earth. So I wanted to make a really warm, inviting homage to bees, something to honor them. So we have three native species of bees, um, honeybees, alfalfa leaf cutter bees, and there's a couple of bumblebees on the other side. Um, and we have several native species of flowers. So it's sort of something to make us feel good, but also to encourage us to have Habitat for Bees in our neighborhoods. I love it. Thank you so much for helping beautify our city, Anne. It was really fun. Thank you so much. So we are at Russell and Wyoming. Uh, this is Dog Days of Summer by Kara Mall. Um, and as you can see, it is still being installed at the moment. Very exciting. Hi, Kara. So can you tell us a little bit about your piece? Absolutely. This is Dog Days of Summer. I created it with watercolor ink, graphite, and a little acrylic paint. And then it was scanned into the computer, and Todd Best Designs manipulated it and turned it into a vinyl print that they are currently installing. I am a big dog lover. I'm, a, I'm an animal lover, but dogs are definitely my favorite. And I created 14 individual dogs, different breeds, small, big, Fluffy, scruffy, and they did a cohesive piece. Oh, look at that piece. big guy over there. Yes. <laughs> and you can't see, but on top, I have my two dogs featured. I love that so much. Such a cute yes. personal feature. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Kara. Thank we you. love it, and thanks for helping to beautify Missoula. Thank you. All right, we are now at Orange Street and Sixth. Uh, this is Emma Coville's piece. Hi, Emma. And forgive us, Orange and Six is busy and there's lots of cars, so I'm gonna get kind of close to Emma. Emma, can you tell us about your beautiful piece? Yeah, um, I am inspired a lot by architecture and by drawing um, the environment that I find myself in. And um, I, for this piece, was mostly inspired by taking walks during lockdown. Um, I live in this neighborhood and so I would just take pictures of cute houses and flowers and um, was really happy every time I saw a cat because I <laughs> can't have a cat in my house. <laughs> and so that's the feeling I wanted to capture with this, um, like taking a stroll to boost your mood when you're stuck inside all day. And I love that. Well, the colors are really vibrant and beautiful. I love the little kitty, too. Um, thank you so much for your art and for uh, talking to us today, Emma. Thanks. Now we are at Broadway and Madison. This beautiful piece that is also still being installed is called Homelands by Monica Gillis Brings Yellow. Hi, Monica. Hi. So Monica, can you tell us a little bit about your beautiful piece? I can. Um, so my piece is called Homelands. Um, sorry, it's really windy. Um, because uh, my family is Bitterroot Salish and something that has always been passed on to me um, and um, my husband is that the Bitterroot Salish um, consider Missoula part of the traditional homeland. Um, and that's not always something that is recognized. Um, by people that are non-Indian in society. Um, and so I wanted to make a piece that honored that tradition um, and that also um, brought a visual reference um, to the fact that the Salish were here and were here for centuries, if not thousands of years. 
um, and have names for everything that's around us in the natural world. Um, and also um, bringing some honor to um, members of my family because some of the people in this photo are considered my family's ancestors. That's amazing. These photos are absolutely beautiful. Awesome. Well, Monica, thank you so much for sharing these stories and your artwork with us. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Hi, I'm Courtney and I'm the chair of the City of Missoula Public Art Committee. Thank you so much for watching all of the traffic signal boxes that took place this year in 2020. All of the artists are absolutely amazing and I encourage you to go and check out each and every one of their signal boxes. Thanks.